What's up guys, it's Angel. If you watched my last video, I managed to climb to the top of Polish Mountain. And after that, I realized I needed to do something super easy because holy shit guys, that took so long to film and so long to edit. My brain was just like, nope, you need a break. So here come the water decals to save Angel's life. If you don't know what a water decal is, it's basically like a temporary tattoo. You just dip the little decal into water and after a little bit it will slide right off and you can put the clear part onto your nail. So easy. These adorable water decals are from Bundle Monster and they're a part of the brand new Music City collection and I will have them linked down below for you. I recommend cutting your decals out before you do your base colors because I've done it the opposite way and it was immediate regret because I completely messed up the base colors and was like why are you so stupid? And here I managed to cut out three of the images as I wanted in one single cut and apparently I was super proud of myself because here you go it's a big old thumbs up I started out by painting my base coat here I used julep nail therapy sorry I don't even think they make this anymore which is sad because I love this as a base coat then I applied two coats of china glaze white on white to all nails except my pinky ended up being black but I didn't record that one for some reason I don't know why your guess is as good as mine on my pointer nail, I applied two coats of Rave Babe, which is kind of like a coral color from Bundle Monster. And on this first coat, there was like this weird dot that went onto the center of my nail. Here you can see it a little better. I think it was unmixed pigment. Luckily, the second coat covered it up. Otherwise, I would have to fight this polish. I applied HK Girl Quick Dry Top Coat onto the nails that I was going to apply water decals onto because I've found that water decals tend to apply better over a very smooth surface. While waiting for that to dry, I did a little cleanup using my favorite cleanup brush. And I actually should have done this before I put on the top coat, but hey, I'm breaking rules. Once your top coat is dry, you dip the decals into water. These dishes are actually supposed to be used for cooking, but I don't cook, so I just use them for nail art. After about 15 to 20 seconds in the water, that decal will just slide right off that paper backing. I like to apply the decals while they're still wet because as long as there's still water on there, they are repositionable on the nail. Once they dry is when they set. So here it's wet and I'm just moving it around with my tweezers. These are great for beginners because they are so easy to do. You can just wait for the decal to dry on its own, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I like to take a sponge and just dab off that excess water. Then I just cut off the excess with my miniature scissors. And I can't even lie, I totally chose this wing because my name is Angel and I love to be extra. And when the decals are rounder and smaller like this one, they are even easier to apply than that first one. Again, I chose this little star because my nail name is Twistar. Aren't I just the coolest person you know? And I chose this cute little skull only because I thought it looked cool. Hey guys, it's Snapception time, and if you don't know what Snapception is, I suggest go watching my Illuminati nails tutorial to get filled in. Are you guys seeing the sun in my eyes? Like, really? I'm trying to do Snapception here, and this is what you do to me. <laughs> That's better. I wasn't going to show you guys a preview of this Manny while I'm filming the voiceover in Snapception, but you can probably see it in the reflection of my glasses. I really don't have anything good to say right now, except for this tutorial is so easy. Everyone can do this. It uses water decals. It's great for beginners. And that's it for our time travel adventures today, guys. I hope you like seeing a glimpse into the future. Ooh. Please let me know in the comments if you like Snapception the first time I did it. You guys seemed to think it was funny and enjoyed it and asked me to do it again, so I did it. Once all the decals are dry, you can add your top coat. And unfortunately, here on my ring nail, do you see what the top coat just did? It kind of disintegrated that portion of the decal. I wouldn't say that that's common. I'm not sure what happened there. And as you can see on the rest of my nails, it didn't do that. Well, I don't know, but I didn't let it bother me. I just moved on and pretended like it never happened. What smear? I don't see a smear. More top coat on my middle nail and note, no smeary. I added top coat to my pointer nail and I wanted to bring a little bit of the black color all the way over to this nail because I felt like it just kind of looked like it didn't belong. So I popped on a little two millimeter black stud onto the damp top coat. Damp, I mean wet. 
And that's it for my incredibly easy water decal nails. Now after I finished this I thought, wow these kind of look like tattoos. And they kind of look like biker inspired because of that skull and the cross. I mean there's literally nothing badass about these. Unless you know bikers wear pink and stars and diamonds and wings. My boyfriend actually rides a motorcycle and there's nothing badass about him. He's actually kind of a nerd. But I love nerds. I hope you guys enjoyed this and don't forget you can follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at twy underscore star. That's twy underscore star. And I will see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye! And don't forget to seal those free edges because you don't want this many chipping or any tip wear when you just spent six hours of your life on this beautiful mani. Congratulations everybody, you've made it to the tippy top of Polish Mountain.